XAIR Electronic Flow Controller is a self-contained interface designed to minimize compressed air use through precise flow control of compressed air operated components. The EFC features an adjustable diffused laser input sensor, comes pre-wired with a proper solenoid for your application, and is available with 120 or 240 volt power supply. This video will show how to set the time delay of the EFC. In order to set the time delay, power must be disconnected and the faceplate must be removed. It is imperative to disconnect power to the EFC. In addition to the safety concern, the power must be removed prior to adjustments to ensure the changes made to the timer mode can take effect. Some parameter adjustments require the power to be cycled before they're fully recognized. With the faceplate removed, the timing adjustments will be made on the Omron H3DE-M1 delay controller. Adjustments to the time delay are made with three dials. The main dial, the time unit dial, and the time range dial. You will also see an additional dial in the bottom half of the controller. This is the operating mode selector. I will cover this adjustment in my next video. The main dial is located in the center of the controller. This dial is adjustable from 0 to 12. The time unit dial is in the upper right corner of the controller. This is adjustable to seconds, minutes, hours, and 10 hours. Whatever base value you've selected will be carried out in these units. Then there's the time range dial in the upper left corner of the unit. This dial has two settings, 1 and 0.1. The displayed value is applied as a multiplier toward the base unit and is then expressed as the chosen time unit. To set the delay of the Omron H3DE-M1, I recommend working in a counterclockwise fashion. Begin by adjusting the base value on the main dial. For this example, I've chosen a value of approximately 1. Next, select the desired time unit. I've chosen seconds. Finally, select the time range or multiplier. I've chosen one for this also. This setup will produce a delay of one second. If I change the time range to 0.1, the delay is now 0.1 seconds. If I then change the time unit to minutes, the delay is now 0.1 minutes. Let's work through another example. In this scenario, we need the EFC delay of 30 seconds. The largest value on the main dial is 12, so we won't be able to set it as easily as before. We can, however, set a delay for half a minute, which will achieve the same desired result. To do so, we change the main dial to 5, the time unit dial to minute, and the time range to 0.1. The 0.1 is multiplied by the main dial setting, producing a value of 0.5. The 0.5 value is applied to the chosen time unit, which has been set to minutes. The end result of this setting is a delay of 0.5 minutes, or 30 seconds the delay will be applied to the chosen operating mode. As you can see, there is an extensive range in which adjustments can be made. If you need help determining the correct model for your application, please contact an application engineer. Be sure to check out my next video, which will detail the operating modes of the EFC.